thank you so much for this. Um, I'm excited to be here, guys. And uh, I only have 15 minutes, so I think we get got. Um, as you can see from the first slide, please. Um, my name is Luca Pannese, and I live in New York. And as you can hear, I'm clearly Italian because of the Italian name, not because of the flawless American accent. And um, I'm not sure you see the presentation. I don't see it here, but I guess, okay, here we go. Presentation. <laughs> My name is Luca Panese Hussein. It's, it's me, that guy on the L. And as you can hear, I was saying I'm Italian. And uh, if you go to the next slide, yes, you see this guy here is the other Luca I work with. It's called... Luca Lorenzini, different last name though, but still Luca and Luca. And together, uh, two years ago, we opened what you see in the next slide, which is small. Um, yeah, another agency where I'm the co-founder and executive creative director, as Julia was saying. And after working for 20 years in the big advertising networks, um, we decided to jump off those huge cruise ship and, uh, and to drive a, let me say, a speedboat instead which if you go to the next slide, uh, might look something like this, you know, eh? Um, so next slide, please. We, we've created small because we felt that the ideas for our clients were often trapped in the system, in the processes, and we wanted to give them, next slide, um, well, more visibility, which is, as you can see in the next slide, what we're talking about today. Um, I love to bring up, as Julia said, um, one of the accounts that we've been working for since 2012, and that is probably um, one of those brands that need creativity the most to be visible, because these brands don't usually have media budget at all, zero, nada, niente. And, and every year, year after year, they always have to rely on the power of creativity to be visible spread their message around the world. And we're talking about the charity world, the, the work for good category. Next slide. Um, what, what I'm talking about is score down. In this specific case, I'm talking about the association, the association for people with Down syndrome that we are honored to partner with from 10 years now. And, uh, and this is how during these years, we created visibility with them. And what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show four projects that we did. And for each project, I'm going to share with you guys two words that we believe made the difference for us, helping us reaching visibility in the most creative way. Let's go to the next slide and let's see what is the first one. It was 2012 and the first project is called Integration Day. And if you go to the next slide, you can see that the two words we'd like to share is think ambitious. Let me give you a little bit of a background behind this. The client came to us asking for a poster. I remember it was September. They came to us asking for a poster. Can we do a poster where we could show how people with Down syndrome can be seen included into the society. And we said, okay, great. I mean, we can do the poster. Do you think we can do something else? And, and they of course reply like, yes, you, you, can, you can do something else as long as it's about uh, inclusivity. So we did something that wasn't done before. We, we tried to gather all the power of the agency where we were working at, at that time. And we tried to do something that it was inclusivity in the real meaning of the word. We went beyond the ad and we thought about something that was probably too big at that time. But in the moment we laid it down on paper and we started to talk to all the agency about our idea, everybody believed in the idea so much that as you will see in the video that I'm gonna show in a second, um, we made it possible because we didn't stop at the poster. We wanted to do more. We wanted to push for the next extra thing at the beginning, it looked impossible to achieve because we had to involve all the clients of the agency. And as you will see, all the TV shows, program, and, and, and actors that weren't involved in this. And we made something that was really ambitious for that time and compared to what the client was asking for. Let's see the video, please. The Core Down organization campaigns for the integration of people with Down syndrome in society, and in particular, the work environment. 
on the 21st of March, on World Down Syndrome Day, we promoted this in an exceptional way. On that day, alternative versions of the commercials of some of the most well-known national and international brands were broadcast on TV. During filming, we had shot alternative scenes in which the original actor was substituted by an actor with Down Syndrome. This is how the Illy Coffee commercial usually appeared, for example. Invece di muoversi. And this is how it appeared on the 21st of March. Danzare. Invece di muoversi. We did the same with other familiar TV ads. A Verna liqueur. Car to see credit card. Toyota. And Pampers. These alternative versions appeared 334 times that day. The same happened with print campaigns. Enel, Carrefour, and Toyota. And in the same vein, people with Down syndrome appeared in some of the most famous Italian television programs, replacing the usual stars. We attracted the attention of all the national media, generating the equivalent of nearly five and a half million euros worth of coverage and reaching around 18 million people, a third of the Italian population. And most important of all, in the week following the communication event, inquiries to call down from companies interested in integrating people with Down syndrome into their organizations went up 600%. What happened on the 21st of March should happen every day because, after all, being different is not normal. Okay, so this was the first video with these two words, think ambitious. The next one that I'd love to share with you guys, it's um, a film we did in 2014, it's called Dear Future Mom. And you can go on the next slide. The two words that we'd love to share is think brave. Um, what happened here? With this project, we, we touched a topic that was extremely delicate. And, it, wa and it, it wasn't really expressed and explored before in commercials that advocates life uh, of people with Down syndrome. This commercial, in fact, talks about abortion in a way you will see. It. And let me say it almost happened by chance. We were thinking about the new campaign for Cordown. And Cordown shared with us an email that they shared, that they received of a um, future mom that just discovered that she was expecting a baby with Down syndrome. And she was saying that she was scared. She didn't know what to do, how to do. She never approached something like this before. So we sat down with the client and together we decided that probably the best way was to reply to that mom in a way that wasn't another email. And, and we wanted to make our reply an anthem of hope because we knew that like her, many other people could have been in that kind of situation. And we wanted to send again, a message of happiness in a way of hope and a, and a message that could show how also people with Down syndrome and their families can live a happy life. Please show the video, thank you. Cara futura mamma, don't be afraid. Tu niño podrá hacer muchas cosas. Podrá marchar. Podrá correr hacia ti. Él podrá parler y te dirá que te amo. Él podrá ir a la escuela como todos. Él no será el mismo. Él podrá te escribir si un día él es lo más. Because indeed, he'd be able to travel too. Il pourra aider son père à réparer son vélo. Podrá laborar y ganar su dinero. Avec son salaire, il pourra t'inviter à dîner. Oh, 
affittare un appartamento e andare a vivere da solo. A volte sarà difficile. Io capisco. Quasi possibile. E se non è per tutte le mere. Dear future mom. Tuo figlio potrà essere felice. Come la sono io. E tu sarai heureuse aussi. Vero mamma. Vero mamma. As you can see, these two films bring us to the next one, which was done in 2017, and it's called Not Special Needs. The two words that I want to share with you is think and expect it. Um, we were coming from years of, of, of films and, and activations and projects that were very, in a way, um, classic in terms of style and mood and, and transmitting uh, an emotional kind of feeling. So we said, why don't we try to do something that it's never done before? Why don't we try to inject some fun? Why don't we show people with Down syndrome from a different point of view? And we wanted to do something that, again, was different from how people used to see people with Down syndrome especially in commercials where they're always there, nice, cute, little guys. So we wanted to give it an edge also because we were coming from a different years of very emotional and touching project. And we also wanted to do something that again, if you get your audience used to the same message over and over, it's, it creates some sort of um, um, disattention. And Again, we wanted to break through what we were doing, what have we been doing for the years before. And we came up with this idea that is about um, how people with Down syndrome are not really in need of, are not, doesn't really have, don't really have special needs, but it's just human needs. Please play the video. You can go to the video, please. People with Down syndrome have special needs. Special needs? Really? It would be special if people with Down syndrome needed to eat dinosaur eggs. That would be special. One dinosaur egg. Enjoy. Man, you were totally I right about know. Lindsay. If we need to wear a giant suit of armor. That would be special. I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? So go and get to grab it. Go pop a phone. It would be special if we need to be massaged by a cat. Uh... Uh... If we needed to be woken up by celebrity. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. How are you? You may know me from Scrubs or Office Space. A few darker flakes on the rock. Platoon, Wall Street. Funny story, I, I played bed. Get out. My bad. That would be special. But what we really need is education, jobs, and opportunities. Friends and some love just like everybody else. Are these needs special? And we can go to the next one. So the next project is the one, the most recent one, the one we did just um, this year in March, and it's called The Hiring Chain. And it's probably the most successful project we did uh, ever. 
And, um, and the two words, if you go to the next slide that I want to share with you are these two. Think true. Um, the story behind this film is, uh, is interesting. It's the power of an insight. And behind the success of this campaign, there's a, a conversation. It, it all started with a conversation we were having in a restaurant with our client. And she was actually telling us, explaining us that um, the, the fact that people with Down syndrome are not given so many job opportunities is because they're not seeing enough working. People with Down syndrome can work and, and can do several jobs. But the problem is that people never see them. So she was saying, if only people could see people with Down syndrome at work more, it would probably start a chain where the more you see them, the more you're used to them, the more you ask them to work for you. And, and we thought that that thing was so inspiring, so true, so powerful that, that when you have an insight so strong, what you have to do is preserve that insight and just make it as powerful, beautiful, um, impactful, meaningful as possible. And that's what we did. I'm not saying that the campaign was already there, but the, the powerful of an insight is probably, let me I'd say it's 80% of an idea. It's that thing that make people go like, oh, wow, I didn't think about it. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's true. That's what we were looking for. That's what we always look for. And when, and as we all know that ideas can come from anywhere, this insight were com was coming exactly from the client's mouth. And we, we try to take it and make it as beautiful as possible. Another thing to not uh, forget, when you have powerful project, powerful insights, a lot of people is open to work on those because they like and they love what you're doing. And so you find a lot of handful, a lot of helpful hands. And this is what happened when we presented the project to Sting because we needed a song. And he simply said, yes, I'll do it. I'll do it for free. I'll sing this song for you guys. Um, so th the power of this is think true, stay true to the, to the inside. Play the video, please. The Baker had Simone and everybody saw that she could do the job. The lawyer went to the baker and saw Simone at work. The lawyer hired John because the baker had Simone. The baker had Simone. The dentist went to the lawyer and saw John at work. The dentist had Sophia because the lawyer hired John because the baker had Simone. The baker had Simone. The farmer went to the dentist and saw Sophia at work. The farmer had Kate because the dentist had Sophia because the lawyer had John because the baker had Simone. The baker had Simone. The farmer went to the farmer and saw Kate at work. The farmer had Paul because the farmer had Kate because the dentist had Sophia because the lawyer had John because the baker had Simone. The baker had Simone. The baker went to the barber. And saw Paul at work. He didn't have a clue. But it was thanks to his first move that the barber had Paul because the farmer had Kate because the dentist had Sophia because the lawyer had John because the baker had some more the baker had some more the baker had some more yeah okay let's go to the next slide the, 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 final, the final thing that I want to share with you guys is we had one rule to rule them all, which is if you go to the next slide, is think headlines. That's what we always say. We have something that we call, if you go to the next slide, the 12 words rule, which is whenever we have an idea we like, we try and see if we can summarize in a, in a 12 word headline, which is the average length of headlines in our online outlets. And if an idea survives those 12 words, test, meaning the idea stays interesting, catching, relevant, and meaningful, it's most likely a clear, powerful, and disruptive one. Exactly what's needed today to be buzzworthy. And believing in this approach, if you go to the next slide, brought us something 
very important in the years, which is probably um, what Cordown was needed the most to be visible 